Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. 24 projects coming out to you two a week all the way through and into Christmas time. And this is today's project. It's a project I've made many times over. It's a hot chocolate pouch. It will hold one of these, oh, hello, Fauna. One of these um, hot chocolates that will make one mug. So it's the 25 gram sachets of galaxy hot chocolate you can get them in all sorts of places yes you want to help don't you i've filmed this D -d tried to film this so many times anyway so it's a simple project it's used using gingerbread and spice paper i've got another one here the gingerbread dies which i'm totally addicted to but also this so i gave this as my thank you gift to all of my shoppers in October and I gave everybody a packet of this oh she's got dimensionals now no you can't play with <laughs> you can't play with the dimensionals you wicked little tinker um I gave a packet of this to everybody who shopped with me last month and then some oh what's the other thing I gave I can't remember um but it's lovely and you know what you could so easily miss this in the catalogue um it's nigh on impossible to see i should have probably got this prepped earlier it's really do you know what you would be forgiven for missing it because it is tucked right down there you really would have missed it and i to be fair i hadn't noticed very many people at all buying it so that's why i gave it for free and i wanted to show a little project using it and i love it love it love it love it oh she's really having fun with the dimensionals okay good job i've got another fresh packet Right, so I just need some ribbon for this. And I use this crinkly stuff. I think I'm gonna use it again, mostly because I haven't used it very much. And yeah, this is a sheet of the gingerbread and peppermint paper. And so easy. All you do is you get it rolled round and get it started before you get start putting tape and things on. So you know roughly where to position it. Um, there we go that should work about right so I'm going to put some tearing tape on here oh you want to help with this bit don't you so <laughs> Berry and Sorrel are fast asleep right now um, why she isn't I've no idea but you just leave that tail there helping me So that's my sticky side, as I said before, and I'm going to get this rolled. And don't worry about it if it goes over, you know, out of the edges at this point. We'll sort that out shortly. Okay. So one little tube made. These are so quick to do. You could get a whole load of these done. And actually, if you go to Amazon to get your hot chocolate pouches. Um, yeah best place because you can get loads from there okay so let's make this a crisscross parcel or crisscross oh she's got ribbon now <laughs> she's um just coming up to 10 months old she was born in january so yeah i'm kind of thinking so we've not put well, at the point in time i'm filming we haven't put our christmas decorations up um but oh they're sorry she's awake as well <laughs> um yeah we don't know how she's going to react to christmas decorations given that she's a little tinker and a tea leaf and quite happily helps herself to all sorts particularly stuff from my office oh dear sorrel's not happy um we don't know what's going to happen the other two totally ignore the christmas trees they arrived um they joined our family in December time, so they're, yeah, Christmas trees are like, yeah, whatever. Okay, <clears throat> so I've got some of this lovely paper. I think I'm going to stick with the gold. I'm not sure that this pink will, well, maybe it will. Let's try the pink. Or to do that instead. Um, Ooh, which one should we have you know what? i don't think i've done the snowflake at all no i haven't that's still very well stuck down snowflakes it is so you get an outer and an inner and 
so that's the one that you use as the background and then this is the one for your icing um yeah so we don't know how fauna is going to be with christmas decorations and i have full full-size trees in my house um two of them are six and a half foot and two of them are seven and a half foot so they're big old trees and then decorations everywhere <laughs> she's just gonna think oh, you got all this for me mummy <laughs> isn't she right look i've got new plates i treated myself the other day and i thought why not so send those through oh so yeah the white is the icing on top of your um christmas biscuit and i have a shiny metallic biscuit oh no i need that bit oh what if i just oh it's there <laughs> i thought i'd lost it um there's my rolly doodle Okay, so I gave this tip the other day um, and I'll do it again for you if anybody didn't see it. So I've got these, oh, dirt cheap um, paint brushes. I've got a couple of them. I did have lots more. The cats like them. This one hasn't been used because the cat plays with that one. Um, oh, here's another one. Yeah, another cheap one. Just cheap paint brushes. And... And what I do is I squadge on here so that a little blob of glue comes up and I pick it up on the end of my brush and then just dab it into places where I need the glue to be. I'm not so good with the whole fine tip glue pen thing. I, do you know, it is... <laughs> mm, I'm, I'm, yeah. And so I find this is a much simpler method to get glue onto the back of tiny fine little details like that and that is tiny and fine detail and that's really rather pretty over that pink so this one was over gold but this one was over pink I do think that the red might clash so let's go with some white embellishments and I want mini glue dots for these. So there's all sorts of different shapes. Do you know what? We're not going to see any of them, are we? Oh, well. So you take a, a mini glue dot on the tip of a paper piercer. And then, I don't know which one to choose. I'm going to choose that peppermint there. And just pop it in the centre. Not hugely noticeable, but you know just a little extra dimension we'll just go with one because these stood out more but i think they're just going to clash and i don't want clash oh what did she do <laughs> she wrecked the dimensionals oh dear it's just been that oh, shall i just finish off the packet might as well i'll save that those edges are very good for things and pop that on there and that's nice a nice little stocking filler but it's also it's a nice gift you know perhaps if you're making if you make lots of um christmasy projects or bags or stuff for i don't know maybe a church group or a ladies fellowship or maybe you know elderly people who are in a residential home or a nursing home or something like that or just kiddies at school oh great teacher gift oh that's a good idea yeah that would be a great teacher gift um because you know there's only so many boxes of chocolates and wine that they can get through but something for the kiddies to give to you know their buddies or their friends or wherever but i just think it's a really nice little project i've made it so many times you all like to see the variation on the theme that comes up each year so anyway thank you ever so much for joining me hope to speak to you very soon bye